Good morning, it is Monday of week 34 of reselling full-time in Australia. Welcome back to the channel where we talk all about reselling in Australia and some eco-friendly tips along the way. So if this is an interest to you, then hit that subscribe button and follow along with me on my weeks of finding treasures out there, saving them from landfill, sending them off to new homes and helping Mother Earth while we're at it. This weekend, we had a lovely weekend with the family. I didn't do much reselling. I headed to one op shop and got a few goodies. I'll show you those later. Today, I am just photographing, listing, and getting ready for the week ahead. quickly take you through what I picked up from the little op shop on the weekend. This is a beautiful fit and flare dress floral from Taquito. So not big money, but it's the design that I grabbed it for. This sports craft faux wrap stretchy dress. This cotton lightweight lazy bones dress. It's very similar to like Boom Schenker and Orientic. Really nice lightweight. This is like a Y2K Orientic dress. Midi, lots of ruffles going on, lots of colors. And you can tell the age with the tag. It's, it's not a modern tag. This is a stunning review dress. It's fit and flare. It's got the original belt. It's got tulle linings, so it helps it fluff out as well. Really nice detail up the top. And yes, I did pay up for it, but I'm happy to with all of the good things going on with this dress. This Sportscraft top is just a nice lightweight cotton piece. Another review dress, a bit plainer, but really nice and simple with the rockabilly style going on. There's the tag. Lastly, this very cute tiger lily dress. It's wrap, it's got these amazing tassels on the bottom, and it's brand new with tags. So this will be a really quick, easy sell. So we got home really late last night and Sunday night I usually ship uh, for the weekend but today is Monday and I'm going to ship tonight. Starting off we have these three Heidi books together in a set. Beautiful vintage covers. We've got the final season of McLeod's Daughters on DVD. These hydrogel discs, the box is open, but they're all sealed inside. This dress you would have seen me pick up last week. This is a handmade dress, rockabilly style. A pair of review gingham pants. This pair of Q shorts, again, I picked up last week. Just a plain witchery t-shirt. This really cute Saints and Secrets dress these men's sketches just a little vintage paperback book and this set of hardcover doll like guide books good morning it is tuesday and my computer is hopefully getting fixed today i am taking it to the computer repair person <laughs> and so unfortunately i can't list today so i have to go up shopping and i picked my first pumpkins this morning look at that so i've got them out in the sun now so that this little bit dries but i'm so proud of myself i can't wait to eat them yum 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 so if you're looking forward to that op shopping adventure jump on over to the other video that i've created just for the op shopping adventure i'll link it up here or in the description below
Okay, because my computer was getting fixed, I am shipping Wednesday night instead of Tuesday. So here's what's going out. We've got some saddle club books. There's 20 in here, but these are double stories. So there's like 27 stories. I probably wouldn't pick up saddle club again. It wasn't as great as I thought it would be. This is an Indiana Jones book. This is just going to go untracked. Uh, these Indiana Jones books, the originals from the 80s are really good. I thought this was an original, but it's not. It's a reprint from the 2000s. So if you can get the originals from the 80s, they are pretty good. Uh, just a little puzzle, nothing too flash. Uh, that went for like $20 free shipping. A pair of Catman Do boots. These were fantastic, cleaned up really well. This is the camera that I picked up in the garage sale a couple of weeks ago. So it's got the add-on flash and the little booklet that goes with that flash. I've sold it for parts only. That went 56 plus shipping. So getting onto the clothing, a few of these pieces went on a 30% off sale that I did on really old pieces. So these witchery jean shorts, they are a size six and that's why I think they took so long to sell. This is a pair of Lorna Jane shorts and I sold these on Poshmark, which is like the first sale in over a month on Poshmark. Next is this Orientic dress, uh, $25 plus shipping. Just a really cute little piece. I put this a bit lower because I wasn't too sure on the cut on this one. This is a sports craft 100% cotton skirt but the design is much older and yeah that only went for like 20 plus shipping on that 30% off sale. This dress I picked up because I knew it was going to be a winner. It's absolutely stunning in current boho style. That's not um you know a fantastic brand it's just a little booty brand but I knew that being a size 14 and this style was going to sell and it did for $33 plus shipping. Get yourself a supportive husband, wifey, best friend, dog that can talk, somebody in your life who supports you and your business slash hobby totally, 100%, because this is my birthday present that my husband bought me. It is a paper tape dispenser so that you just roll it out and it's got the water pad here and I just stick it on which has made my life so much easier. I use this nearly every day for packaging and I've needed one of these dispensers, but um, they were either too expensive or I couldn't find anybody in Australia who stocked them. Thankfully, my hubby found Woodruff & Co. They are in Melbourne and they had a limited supply of these paper tape dispensers. I think they're sold out at the moment, but keep an eye on them. They're a great company, got lots of awesome eco packaging options, and they're a small Australian business. I'm so happy. Yay! Good morning. It is Thursday now, and I am about to take my packages off to my husband's work for the courier and then also to Oz Post. And then I'll be dropping off some newspapers to Salvos and Lifeline because they use a lot of them and I get way more than I ever need. Uh, so I'll drop them off, share them around. And yeah, Wednesday, yesterday um, was just a bit of a hodgy podgy day. I got my computer back. It's temporarily fixed, but ultimately I need a brand new computer. So this is my computer situation. So what's happening is this is overheating too much and the two cooling elements are not uh, working up to par with what I need. So I need to get a new cooling element on there and a, another thing in there. <laughs> he said pretty much the computer is just so old that it's not really worth me doing that to upgrade it, taken off the side to get some airflow in there and uh, we'll look at a new system. If you want to make your life a whole lot easier as a small business owner in Australia, go to your local pharmacy and ask them for API boxes. That's this box. And they have handles. They also come with lids, but they are so useful. I use like three a day. They're fantastic. All right, let's drop off some newspapers. Hello. <laughs> 
I've just got some newspapers for you. There you go. Thank so, you, um, oh, Thank you. That's okay. That's all right. It's good to share them around. I get way more than I ever need. So, that's beautiful, yeah, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day. See you later. Share around the love and I'll give some to Lifeline too. Now, I know what you're thinking. Michaela, you just went to two op shops and didn't go op shopping. <laughs> yes, I know. And this is why. This is currently my stockpile. <laughs> I do not need to go op shopping right now. There's my last op shopping trip to bulk buys. Oh, and another bulk bundle over there. And then this wardrobe is full as well. So got to get listing. If it's not listed, it can't sell. Let's go. listing all of the stock that I got at the Little Anglican place uh, last weekend on my little quick one hour run and this dress sold within about 45 minutes of listing it. It's absolutely stunning, the dress itself. I knew it was going to be a great pickup and this is the one that I paid up for. I paid $20 for it and I put it up high, 65, and gone in 45 minutes. Love a quick flip. Thursday night, it's shipping time. So first up, I've got this vintage corning wear jug that has the strainer with it as well. Now this is called the Canterbury print and is seemingly very rare. So I took an offer of this of 45 plus shipping. This has got to be one of the strangest items I've ever found. Um, I found, oh my god, probably about 20 packets of these. They're Johnny Walker 200 years like elastic bows that go on the top of bottles to celebrate their anniversary and I got them for 50 cents a packet. I've got them listed for 29 free shipping and I'm just taking offers on them and this one went for 25 free shipping today. A little piece from my baby bulk lot. These went for 18 free shipping. Just a little kukai singlet top. I think that went for 16 plus shipping. Just a pair of men's shorts from Snowgum. I can't remember where I picked these up but I think I took an offer of $15 plus shipping. And this Lulu life boho dress that I picked up about two weeks ago. It went for $35 plus shipping. Jumping straight into the breakdown for week 34. Starting off, we listed 55 items. Total sales on all platforms was 32, and the amount of resources that we diverted from landfill back into the circular economy was approximately 25 kilograms. Okay, so it is Friday, and I get to have another half day again, which is exciting. We are going down to Sydney and going to the Sydney Opera House to see a show and catch up with some friends which COVID has kept us from doing for so long. So really looking forward to it. I've got some listings up my sleeve. So that's it for the week. Thank you for following along. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more reselling content in Australia. Happy treasure hunting, everyone. Thank you.